Hey folks, Jarek here, welcome to Amberscape. And yeah, last month I went over 4 kilograms of Baltic Amber in search for insect inclusions. There was like thousands of stones. And one of the stones I did I made a window in it and there was a big fantastic adult cockroach. And yeah, today we are gonna prep that piece, so let's get started. So this is our piece. It's not big, it's very heavily layered. And the cockroach is right here. Let's make it wet. Wink. Good, good. It will be better visible without polishing. And there it is. It's lovely cockroach with wings, so it's an adult. And you can see a bunch of layers surrounding the cockroach. So oh, there is antennas. You see these noodles? This is the antennas of the roach. Quite long. So yeah. Our mission will be removing these layers and not damaging the cockroach in the process. And he is in between of some layers, so we have to be careful and choose which can be removed and which not. So yeah, let's get started. And we will start from the very top because this is the most important part. You see, this is where one layer separates from other. It's very visible when you start cutting it, and it's less visible when it's wet. Oh, it's still quite visible, so I think I will remove all of it. this pesky layer. Let's see if we can remove it from the roach head. Yeah, I do think I can remove it, so we will stop. Uh, yeah, let's do a time lapse for the rest. It seems this ember is very layered. The layers are everywhere. It's impossible to remove them. And the most important fact that there is layer on the head of the insect. So it's not gonna be very well visible from the front. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna remove as much as possible from the back and hope that from the back there will be no layers. So yeah, let's keep going. We did remove a lot. Will it be layerless ember from the back? <laughs> I'm not so sure, but it was worth checking. Hmm. We have interesting shape, <laughs> but I can see insect. We have to change grid to 600 with Dremel and then we will know if there's any layers in between the roach or not. It looks like this white thingy, I still have to remove it, I think. Yeah, we'll go a little bit deeper and then we will do 600 grit. And so, did our gamble pay off? I'm not sure, but we have quite interesting shape. Let's see, let's see. And yeah, it did partially. Uh, from the back side, we see the cockroach a lot better. There is less of this layering in amber, but on the opposite side, it's uh, quite white from underneath. There's some sort of mineralization going on, or some people say that it started rotting in this white fungi fungus like thingy so i'm not sure either way 
600 grid is done and now we will continue with 1500. I wasn't brave enough to remove these nasty layers from top of the head. I think if I would do that, we would, the cockroach would lose its head. Fun fact, cockroaches can live without its head until they starve from hunger. <laughs> Once again, this is way too much polishing paste. There we go, it's ready. Oh, look at this, it's shiny. And it's quite nice from the front, not gonna lie. Yep, you see this layer near the head? Yeah, very pesky layer. It was too dangerous to remove it because it's <laughs> in between the roach itself. And from the back we have this weird mineralization white one, as I mentioned before, but it's still quite neat. And here it is, cockroach from the Eocene in all its glory. It's not big for an adult, around half centimeter in body length. We can see some nice colors on the wings, except for the white thingy, it ruins the whole specimen. But at the same time it's kind of unique, covered in white fungi mold in amber. Honestly, we managed to cut quite a nice piece from that dense in layers piece of amber and photos turned out quite ok. And yeah, this is it for the video. Oh, by the way, this roach will be available to buy on my Etsy page, link will be in the description, go visit it. And I hope you did enjoy this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!